Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm the OP Jellicent and we're back here on Pokemon Showdown. It is Thursday, so I got a new team building video. Today we're going to be building around Guard Champ and OU and I'll be testing out the team on the ladder after to make improvements and the final team will be down below in the description for all of you to try out. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. Looking at Guard Champ right here, we are running a two attack set with Stealth Rocks and Swords Dance with the Dragonium Z. Dragonium Z after a Swords Dance is able to go ahead and blow through Zapdos, Landorus T, Tangrowth, all of which can help other Pokemon that we are going to add on the team of course. Rocky MZ is also an option but I find that plus two Dragonium Z is able to go ahead and Oko whatever Rocky MZ would want to be used on anyway such as Tornadus and Zapdos so I figured we'll just go ahead and go with the Dragonium Z right here. Max attack max speed with the jolly nature of course for and spit F. This is probably going to be my only rock setter on the team maybe we'll add another one who knows but I think a really good combination with Garchomp would be either Mega Mawile or Tapu Lele. I say Tapu Lele because Lele really appreciates AV Tang being gone as well as Garchomp's ability to go ahead and pressure steel types. Mega Mawile is also an option because it's able to go ahead and pressure Mega Scissor and Celesteela, both of which Garchomp struggle with, of course, I think. Because I don't actually use Mega Mawile too often, I'm going to go ahead and do that right here. Now the question is, do I want four attacks or do I want to run a Swords Dance set? I don't see myself using this as a win condition in all honesty. I think just the four attack set to pressure things is going to be really nice. So let's go right here with Polaroff. I'm thinking we'll go with Thunder Punch just to be able to go ahead and hit Celesteela and Skarmory as hard as possible because obviously Garchomp cannot really touch those. Then I'm thinking we probably want Sucker Punch on the set just for the priority. And then one slot left. I don't think Brick Break is going to be very useful for Heatran just because Garchomp's Earthquake destroys that anyway. I think a better bet right here is just Fire Fang to be able to go ahead and hit Mega Scissors. So I believe Standard does a one runs 164 speed. I'm going to go ahead and run 168 just because I do want to be able to outspeed other Mega Mawals. And then I'll just go right here with Max Attack. And we'll put the remainder 88 in the HP, of course. So I really like this. This combination right here is able to go ahead and press your Tapu Bulu for Garchomp. I really like that a lot. Skarmory and Celesteela really hate Mega Mawile too, so should be a good time right here. Let's go ahead and run an Adamant Nature. I don't really need the Jolly Nature for anything in particular right here. The speed investment is really nice for opposing Mega Mawile, as I said, but in terms of what these two are weak to in combination, we don't really have a Water Resist on the team yet, so that's going to be very vital as well. Other things that they both struggle with. Not really much in all honesty. Defensively, they kind of complement each other a lot too. I mean, I guess Magnezone with Scarf could go ahead and pressure both of us with Flash Cannon. Kieran Black and Lander's T still both look like issues. Defensive Lando actually looks like really threatening just because we don't have Ice Punch on this thing. Let me make sure I actually have Intimidate before my Go Evolving. I always prefer that to Hyper Cutter. Now, in terms of a Water Resist that can pressure... Lander is T. Keldeo and Greninja both come to mind. Now, Greninja is not really a water resist. It still gets 2 hit KO'd by everything. So, I think Specs Keldeo right here is just a good bet. Being able to go ahead and switch into opposing Ice Greninja, which is like the premier water type in the tier, while also pressuring Lander is T, which both of these really cannot break through. And it gets us started on our special offense right here, which we previously had none of. So, I really like this right here. Let's go ahead and run a max speed timid set with max special attack. And then I believe I'll just go ahead and go with Hydro Pump and Surf for Dual Water Stab. And then I'll go with Secret Sword. And I think I'll actually run... So Hidden Power Poison could be really cool to be able to go ahead and pressure Bulu for Garchomp. And I really don't see Icy Wind doing too much right here. Just because Garchomp and Mawile can go ahead and both pressure the Lotties. So I am going to run Hidden Power Poison right here just to be able to hit Tapu Bulu. Uh, let's see where it is. Hidden Power Poison right here. I really like the idea, in all honesty, just to be able to go ahead and catch those off guard. So hopefully that can go ahead and work out. We have the Resolute form in, right? Okay, cool. So we already have half the team done, which is good. The team still definitely struggles with opposing Fairy-type Pokemon, such as Tapu Lele and Mega Mawile on the opposing side. Just because Mega Mawile, while it is kind of bulky on the physical side, it's not going to be taking spec psychics from Mawile. I mean, from the Lele anyway, so... That's going to be a tough scenario. We probably want another steel type to be able to check those, but in the meantime, let's see what sort of hazard control we want. Kind of curious right here. So what I'm thinking we could do in order to further pressure Lander's T is just run another, like a Shikaberry Coco. I haven't used Shika Coco in a while. I usually just run the, the leftover set with Defog and Roost right here. So I'm thinking that could work out. Rotom Wash is another option too. Being able to go ahead and give us Volt Switch momentum into these Pokemon could be very valuable. I like the Coco bet a little bit more though because I like the Shikaberry Allure a lot to be able to go ahead and take on Garchomp too. 
just because we don't have a ground resist yet, right? So that's going to be very vital. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's run a Shikaberry Lur for Landorus T and Garchomp, just to make sure Scarf Garchomp isn't like going to blow through my entire team. Let's go with Thunderbolt, Hidden Power Ice. Uh, I typed in two R's, Hidden Power Ice right here. We'll go with, uh, obviously, Roost, and then I'm thinking just a U-turn for the last move. So this isn't going to be our defogger for the team. I'll add a different one later, of course. So let's go ahead and run something just the standard leftover spread right here could work anyway with 216 speed. And then we'll split the, yeah, the remainder EVs into HP and Spidef right here. I believe this allows us to take an Earthquake from Lander's T after Rocks with the Berry. And we should be fine in that regard. And then obviously we'll go right here with the minus attack nature just because we want as much defense as possible in case there's something like a more offensive guard chomp or lando spread so i like this right here we have a lot of lures for pokemon that can check guard chomp naturally hidden power poison keldeo for bulu right here type of coco for guard chomp and lander's t which is very helpful so two slots left on this team right here what am I thinking? So a Scarf Fire type could be good. Victini or Blacephalon, just because that could be my better late game cleaner for this team. Another option for Scarfers could be like Lele or potentially Magnezone. Now, Magnezone would double up on steals, but I did say I wanted another steal. The problem with Magnezone is I already have another offensive electric type on the team, so I don't think I'm going to do that right here. I really like the idea of Scarf Clown as a late game cleaner, I'm not going to lie. Either that or Scar Victini and just, just V create through things. That's also another option. So our physical special split is not that bad right now. We have two really strong physical attackers and two very strong special attackers. So I can really add whatever I want right here. I really want to go with the clown. I really ever, I basically never use the clown right here. So I'm going to do it. Let's go with Scarf, Scarf Clown right here as a late game cleaner. Obviously the one drawback to clown is that it's outsped by opposing Scarfers such as Lottie and Cortana, which make it a lot harder to sweep with. But we can go ahead and make it work right here. Let's run a minus special attack nature. And then I think I'll run trick just to go ahead and cripple bulky Pokemon such as Chansey and Toxpex because Keldeo really struggles with Toxapex. Obviously the team doesn't really care about Chansey with all these breakers right here, but it could be nice anyway. Let's run Fire Blast, Flamethrower, and then I believe we'll just run Shadow Ball right here. So just dual stat plus trick looks fine to me. And I mean, I'll just put the four in defense right here. I don't think the bulk is going to end up mattering. One last Pokemon. I would still love a ground immunity and a Cortana check. So Torn and Zapdos both come to mind immediately. Now, I already have a Coco on the team, so I don't think Zapdos is a very viable option. Lander's T can also go ahead and check both of those. Well, it can also check posing ground types while also checking Cortana is the main thing right here. But I don't think Lander's T is actually that valuable of a defogger. And I do need a defogger, so I think Helmet Torn right here is just the best bet. Being able to go ahead and check Cortana looks very valuable right here, as well as defog for my clown. I obviously need hazard control now that I have a fire type on the team. So let's go ahead and run not leftover, just Rocky Helmet. And then I'll go ahead and run Defog. Actually, let's just put the Hurricane first, and then I'll go ahead and go with the Knockoff. U-Turn and Defog. So I don't think I really need Taunt. The team doesn't really struggle with the bulk, given all the breakers I have, like Keldeo, Mega Mawile, SD Chomp, and I guess Coco to some extent too. But let's go ahead and run just a Max HP, Max Speed set right here. I actually think they're on 248 just to have the odd HP stat. Not that Regenerator would actually matter in that regard, but let's go ahead and run... Hmm. I think I just go with minus attack anyway, and then I'll put the 8 in defense right here. And that looks good to me. I've used all my EVs, right? Correct abilities on everything. The team looks sort of weak to Scarf Lele, I'm not going to lie, but if that ends up being too much of an issue, we can obviously go ahead and change the team while battling. And I'll be right back with our first game. Alright, I got a game right here, and we are facing what looks to be more of a balanced looking squad right here. Very weak to Garchomp and very weak to Mega Mawile, so I'm very happy about that. Keldeo right here also just has a ton of fun, so if I can predict right with Keldeo, we'll be in a very good spot right here. In terms of my lead, I'm really thinking Coco or Garchomp right here make a lot of sense. I'm really anticipating Lander's T lead on their part though, and I really want to try to lead off here with Keldeo. I'm going to lead Garchomp though, because I think they'll lead Zardoi if anything, so let's lead off here with Garchomp as they lead off with Landers. Okay, so I'm not going to stay in here. I'm going to go ahead and use Torn as a pivot just to be able to take potentially an HP Ice, as they're probably Scarf with that right there. So this gives me a free U-turn right here, as I pretty much know they're Scarf. If they stay in right here, I'll basically confirm it based on whether or not they outspeed me. So they do go out into Heatran right here, which is not a big deal. Allows me to go ahead and bring back my Garchomp, and I'm just going to go ahead and throw up my rocks here. I really don't see Blacephalon winning this game, so I'm going to go ahead and do this and then go back to my Torn this turn on the next Hidden Power Ice, which is totally cool. Allows me to once again just go ahead and U-turn out here for free. 
due to regen. That crit's annoying because it actually weakens me a little bit more than I would have liked, but it's not the end of the world right here. I can just go ahead and bring out my... I can just go Coco this turn. And probably just click Thunderbolt is what I'm thinking. I think I'll actually U-turn out as my opponent is asked to go out into Chansey right here. Allows me to get in my Caldeo and just go ahead and click Secret Sword. And, I mean, it's going to blow something away. I, they probably have to predict right here and go, like, Landorus in all honesty. Nothing else comes in on two of these. And if they give me damage on Landorus, that'll be great for Garchomp and Mawile. They just stay in and I knock that out. Cool, Chansey is out of the game. Let's see what comes in next right here. Potentially Charizard, maybe? I mean, I do have a Scarf Clown that's designed to take that on. I don't think this lives. But I'll go Coco just in case it does. They defog. Pretty obvious defog, but it's not the end of the world. Now what I can do is just go ahead and Thunderbolt this turn as they go right for a U-turn. Not the biggest deal. I'm a little bit worried about that Charizard, I'm not gonna lie. If it's Zardex, I go Lander's T this turn. Okay, I'll get in my Torn here on the next U-turn. Okay, Zardex could be a problem. I think that's their win condition clearly right here. I'm very confident that Keldeo can take one Dragon Claw. Charizard comes in. Let's see, I'm gonna U-turn out this turn. It is Zardex, okay. I do have Rough Skin on my Garchomp, thankfully. Let's go out here into my... Let's go Keldeo this turn. They go for the Dragon Dance. I'm pretty positive I eat one of these. And I can just go ahead and surf this down. Yeah, they're clearly a very... I should have Hydro Pumped, but that's okay. I can't let them roost, so I'm just going to surf again here as they knock me out. It sucks to lose that Breaker, but at this point of the game, I don't see Blacephalon check, so let's just go ahead and bring this out and click Shadow Ball. And have some fun right here, so... The combination of Garchomp plus my other Pokemon should be able to deal with the rest. I'm assuming they'll just stay in right here. I don't really see them switching out. Because they already have a Dragon Nanced up. And I really don't think they're Roost at this point anyway. Oh, they might be because they didn't have Dragon Claw on the set, clearly. They would have clicked that against my Keldeo had they had it. I think had a Hydro Pump, I would have guaranteed the win. Because I would have kept Keldeo alive. But had I missed, I would have lost. So I think this route of action right here is just a lot better. Let's see, they go Heatran, not the biggest deal. That gets blown away. I'm not risking this roll, though. I'm going to go out here into my Torn on that Earth Power, yeah. And, I mean, this turn I can just go right here for a knockoff as Rotom Wash comes in. I just love it. I can just U-turn out on this, basically, and then bring in my... I can just go Guard Chomp here. They don't really check Guard Chomp with anything in particular. Mawile can have some fun here, too. This comes in. I guess it's going to try to intimidate me. I just knock it out. Cool. And then... Ferrothorn has to come in next. Not the biggest deal. I'm going to get in Mawile here to do some work. As a power-up miss, unfortunately, happens on my opponent's end. I'm just going to go right here for a Fire Fang. I don't really see the reason to a need to predict at this point. Really surprised that ate my attack, not going to lie. I'm just going to Fire Fang again this turn. As the Lander's T opts to come in. I'm going to go out here into my Torn on the EQ. I don't have a reason to do anything. They just go ahead and get out of that game, yeah. I think at preview, my team just kind of destroyed theirs with the combination of my offense, so that was able to go ahead and work out, and I'll be right back with another game. Okay, I got another game right here. My opponent is quite weak to Keldeo because I do have Hidden Power Poison, but I really have to predict correctly with that thing. In fact, I may lead off with it right here, but they could lead Ditto and just scout my set, potentially. Another option right here as a lead would just be my Coco, because it can roost up on the Ditto lead, and I'm really anticipating Ditto lead. So they are Choice Scarf, which is good information. I'm going to go out here into my Tornadus to be able to take what I'm expecting to be an Earthquake. They go for Rocks. So that is a Choice Scarf for Rocks, Landorus. I'm going to go right here for Defog. So I could have stayed in right there, obviously, due to my Shukai Berry, but I didn't really see the need to make that play so early. Right here, I can just go ahead and U-turn out. Probably, I mean, this is kind of a tough scenario, right? Because it could be a Z-move set. If it's Steel EMZ, Garchomp's not going to take that attack. And I really don't want Kelio getting weakened right here. I'm going to go Garchomp. As it's just a Magma Storm, okay. So sort of lame, but it's not the end of the world. I'll go right here for my rocks this turn. As maybe Bulu comes out, maybe Landorus comes out. Either way it works. Uh, you know what's actually a great win con here? My Blacephalon. But they probably are Scarf Cortana to be able to go ahead and check that. Because, like, how else would they deal with it? Unfortunately, they also have Mega Mawile of their own. Which can always Sucker Punch that too. But other than that, it would be a speed tie with their Ditto. Which could be scary. I think Rocks right here is an okay play, though. I really don't see them... Like, I could SD up, obviously, but I don't want them making an offensive switch into Cortana and me not getting anything out of it. That would... Do I even need Rocks here? I think... Uh, yeah, Rocks are great to go ahead and chip down stuff for Landorus and Keldeo. I mean, uh, Blacephalon and Keldeo here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get them up. Is my opponent really considering staying in? <laughs> I think they are, and I'm not gonna predict that. 
Like, staying in here would be a wild play, but I really can't allow them to just switch out freely here. That would be a very poor play on my part. I guess in all honesty, like, I check Landorus with Torn, I check Bulu with Torn, I check- I guess it could be Banded Bulu. Yeah, I'm gonna go for Rocks here. Yeah, they go Landorus, okay, so. That's fine, I'm gonna go ahead and SD up this turn. As they may just go right for a Defog or Rocks of their own. I'm actually gonna go Torn. Just because if they attack right here, that would be kind of bad for me. And I think they might actually anticipate the SD, and I don't want them being able to just go ahead and deal with me for no reason right here. So let's see what we can do with this. Get in torn. See, I could have stayed in right there, unfortunately, but that's okay. So I mean, here I'm going to defog, right? I have to defog for my Blacephalon. Like, spamming attacks with Blacephalon is going to be my best way of winning this game. So Heatran comes back out. Uh, this thing's annoying. <laughs> Gonna go ahead and just... So it has actually not shown an item yet, which is interesting. I'm gonna U-turn out this turn. Do I finally bring in Keldeo or not? I'm gonna go back to Garchomp. They go for Bloom Doom. Okay, so I sack off my Garchomp for nothing, but Keldeo is still healthy. And Keldeo is coming out here. I'm making the offensive raid and going for Hidden Power Poison. Patapu Bulu should be the bring-in right here because it doesn't even check Mawile or Blacephalon. And it's dealt with by Torn. And like, what else switches in, right? I guess maybe Ditto. I think Heatran's too valuable for my Mawile. I, I wouldn't agree with them staying in right here. And I really need to make something happen, especially since they got the plays right with the Garchomp. Had I stayed in and Swords Dance on that turn, they went for Rocks, I would have been golden. But I do catch the Tapu Bulu coming in beautiful. I don't think it Oko's, it just Oko'd it, never mind. That thing means, so that thing's out of the game, and I can just spam water type attacks for the rest of the game here. Heatran comes back in because they obviously know I'm choice specs. What is it going for? Nature Power under Grassy Terrain? What was that Bloom Doom? I guess it was Solar Beam. Huh. I mean, they can just go for Magma Storm if they really want to. I think I just go Coco here. Was that a Magma Storm? Yeah. So that is a lot. <laughs> Gonna go right here for a. I think this U turn is okay. I wouldn't anticipate them to stay in right here. They apparently do want to. Okay. I mean, this turn I can just get Keldeo back in. Yeah, like, I don't really need Keldeo to be healthy. I just need it out of range of that Sucker Punch, and I don't see a switch into my attacks here. Do I Secret Sword, or do I go for the Surf, is the question. I don't think you risk Landorus. I'm gonna go for the Secret Sword here. Like, why would you risk the Pokemon that kills everything on my team? I think, if anything, Ditto comes out right here as a potential scout. It will take one attack, and then it can go ahead and attack me back. And I'll be forced to switch out right there in that scenario, so... I don't know, if you go Lander, it's a good pivot, but I wouldn't agree with it, considering... Yeah, you should go Ditto here. So I'm able to go ahead and Secret Sword that down. Do a sizable chunk, that's actually a lot of damage. And I mean, this turn I'll just go ahead and bring out my Torn. Hydro Pump's a good read. Okay, so do I just sack my Torn off? It would get rid of my last ground immunity. No, I can't do that. I'm gonna go... Uh, a tough scenario. My win con is Keldeo, but I need to keep Torn for that Cortana. I'm going to lose if I sack off my Torn, so let's sack off Coco here to the next Hydro. And uh, I mean, this time I'll just go ahead and bring out my Ditto again. I mean, my Keldeo again. And I believe what I want to do this time is just click Surf. I might end up losing to Cortana anyway. Maybe if they give me the Ditto right here, my Blacephalon can come through, but that Mawile is still a problem. Uh, lots of factors going into this endgame right here. Especially if they have Stone Edge on Lando and predict my Torn coming in. That could be very scary in itself. Okay, so they do hit, unfortunately, which is going to put me in range of the Sucker Punch from Mawile. Kind of what I was trying to avoid, but I guess it's not the end of the world. Hmm. So Cart comes in. I gotta calc some things. I think I go Torn every time first. As they just go for Leaf Blade, which is uh, very good for me. I wouldn't anticipate them to stay in, but even if they do, I have Mawile, so I'm just going to U-turn out here. As Lander's T comes out. Uh, I don't respond to this, huh? And I know it's Scarf. Can If I go Mawile, can I take an attack with the Intimidate? Okay, let's get rid of that 4 HP investment and put in Landry's T. 
It looks like I would. So I can take one, play rough into Sucker Punch would not be, is that minus one too? That is minus one, okay. So I think that's what I have to do right here. I gotta go out into my Mawile, live due to the Intimidate, and then just go right here for a, do I predict Heatran? Do I have to predict Heatran? I think I have to predict Heatran. Uh, this is bad. I need to get this player right. If they're going Heatran, I gotta predict it. But I think they might just stay in an Earthquake in all honesty. I can't risk them staying in. I'm gonna play rough here. Man, I'm so tempted to go for the Thunder Punch, but... I don't know if... Okay, so let me calculate them. Um, from their perspective, if they're at not... If I'm not plus one right here... Player off could straight up knock them out. So I think they're going Heatran. I think they have to U-turn to that thing. So I'm going to Thunder Punch here. They go for rocks. I don't... Uh, that's like the last thing I expected to come out. But they're scarfed into that. So I mean, I can at least make some... Something happen here. I'll just continue spamming Thunder Punch. Really surprised that was the maneuver. <laughs> like... I mean... Hey, they got me, but I don't actually think rocks are going to make a difference, in all honesty. Maybe with my their Kartana sweep, they go Mawile this turn, okay. So I could have gotten rid of Lando for free, but now I have to deal with it. I mean, here I have enough speed for standard Mawile, I'll just go right for a Fire Fang, and hope I win the tie. Yeah, so that speed investment is not going to come in clutch because I did not knock them out, <laughs> but... Uh, I think I might just lose to Scarf Smart Strike. Let's go for this here. I think I might need to crit the Kartana in all honesty. Really surprised about that play with the Landers. Like, I understand that you need rocks for my Torn, but just sucking the one thing that can win the game as well is very surprising. But it, it, I guess they got me with that play. Let's see what comes out here. If they don't go Kartana, I could have a chance. But I think if they go Kart right here, I just automatically lose to Smart Strike. Yeah, I, I gotta crit the Sucker Punch, I think. I gotta crit the Sucker Punch, and I don't. Okay. So what's the win con? They went for knockoff. I mean, I guess my win con's torn taking one of these, which it's not going to. This definitely knocks me out. Actually, I should just knock off here in case they choke and give me their scarf. They already saw my item. They just stay in right here. All right, GG, man. They definitely got me with the choice scarf Cortana late game. I'm going to go ahead and forfeit that one. Unfortunate way to end that game off. I was really anticipating the U-turn to Heatran, but I guess Rox was good for their Cortana win anyway. And I'll be right back with another game. All right, I got another game right here. Definitely misplayed my last game with that Mawile play, but I think we can go ahead and bounce back considering this guy has zero Mega Mawile switch-ins. Zard is once again a threat, but my Garchomp can do a lot of work right here. In fact, I'm really thinking about leading off with it. Lele is a problem, obviously. Scarf B Clown right here just looks so good, too. I'm gonna lead off with my... with my Mawile on the Lele right away. This is fine. I can just go ahead and... I'm not predicting. I'm just gonna go for a player off here. As Landers comes in, I'll be able to hit this for good damage. Nice, I do hit. Doesn't do too much because they are clearly a defensive set. I just get in this here on that... And I'll be able to defog this turn on the U-turn, so that's no longer a switch into my Mawile, which is very cool. This turn, Lele probably comes back. So this can take a hit, so I'm going to knock this off, whatever it is. Yep, and Scarf is now out of the game, which is going to help me out tremendously. I still don't switch into this, which is a problem. What am I doing this turn? I'm keeping this, obviously. Coco is very good here, I can't sack that off. Gonna go Mawile this turn, as much as I hate taking damage with it. The spit F drop is terrible. Forces me to Sucker Punch here, as unfortunately, they go Landry's T. And this turn I'll just Defog, as... Yeah, unfortunately, due to that spit F drop, I couldn't actually play rough there, because my Mawile would go down if they clicked Hidden Power Fire. Or Focus Blast. So Feeny actually comes in, I will gladly knock this. Because I know I'll take anything, yeah, and then this turn I can just U-turn into my Coco here. They go for Nature's Madness, which is a good play because I actually don't know if I... They stayed in, huh? I'm gonna U-turn this turn, even though it's not gonna kill. And get in my, my Torn. And then what I'll do is just U-turn this too. As they go Landry's T. Allows me to bring in my Keldeo and kind of just claim a kill with Surf. That took nothing, huh? 
Let's get up these rocks here finally. It'll force the Feeny dead. This Feeny comes in. I just earthquake this turn and knock it out. Do you live? Against Landers. I feel like they're switching out anyway. Maybe to Celestila. Okay, well, it didn't live, so that's cool. What comes out here is Zard. I don't think they have a Defogger left either, which is really good here. Celestila comes back out. I'm trying to roost up my Coco, but it's not, they're not letting me do it. We'll get a Torn here on that. Just you turn out this turn. No reason to sack my one of my better checks to the, the Breloom. This turn I'll get Enkeld on the next Flamethrower. I hit into it, which is really helpful. Did they reveal Protect earlier? I don't think they did. I'm just going to Hydro Pump again. They do have Protect, unfortunately. And I missed that turn. <laughs> I just needed to hit that. Okay, I can't sack that off. Man, this thing's annoying. I'm just gonna knock it, yeah. They flamethrower burn me, so they're getting really lucky with the Celesteela, and I, yeah, they're getting even more lucky with the Celesteela. <laughs> All right, I think it's time to end the game. Let's just flamethrower here. As it didn't kill, I finally get some justice with a Leechied miss, which is cool, I guess. Charizard comes in. Can I lose even if I sack this clown? Okay, so I get in on the proper turn, which is cool. Here I can just Earthquake. Lele gets sacked, which is fine. Breloom comes in. I mean, this has to, like, Bullet Seed me, I think. I'm just going to Outrage here. As it just died, yeah. And I'll be able to win this game right here. I got really scary after that Celestial started to hack every single Pokemon on my team, but... It looks like we are good to go, and I'll be right back with another one. Alright, I got another game right here. My opponent's team gets destroyed by Mega Mawile, except I already know they're going to go for the Scald Burner Static Para on it, and it's just going to not go well, but we'll see. I think if I get a Barox with Garchomp, I can also win with that. In terms of my lead right here, I'm really anticipating, obviously, uh, the Sableye lead, so I'll lead off here with my, my Keld. Pex lead is not a big deal because I have a good Defogger and my Torn. Really surprised that was the lead. <laughs> As it's regular Toxic. Okay, it makes this a little bit tougher. I'll go for a knock this turn. They should go Sableye because it'll actually prevent my knock from being effective. They tried a double Toxic, which isn't going to help them out. In fact, I'll double knock here in case they go out into something else. There's a Scald. Okay. Uh, I don't want anything else getting Toxic. I'm going to U-turn this turn into Mawile. Okay, so their T-Spikes, to their Toxic Toxic Spikes. Interesting. Gonna go right here for a Thunder Punch. As they decide to stay in, and that should knock them out. Nice. So Mawile does it some work right away, which is really good. And they just get out of there. Yeah, Mawile destroys this team, so I'll take that, and I'll be right back with another one. Alright, I got another game right here. My opponent has an Espeon, which is very cool. I'm assuming that's a Magic Bouncer just to prevent hazards for Dragonite. Very cool concept, but it's very weak to my Keldeo. I lose to the Azumarill, though, and that's a big issue right here. I'm anticipating probably Mega Lope on your Lander's T lead. And I mean, my Torn can really take either of those on. Dragonite lead is not something I was anticipating. But I guess it allows me to go ahead and U turn out here into my Mawile right away, as they just. Oh, it's a special variant. So I'm about to have a Fire Blast in the face right here. Let's call it that. Is that Specs? Dragonite. Max Special Attack. Modest. With Ice Beam. Choice Specs. Let's call it that. I'm kind of curious here. Let's see. Mawile, OU Swords Dance. No, for Specs would have done more. Which means a Fire Blast is about to happen. I'll go Guard Jump on that. Yep, I get in on the correct turn. Allows me to go ahead and just... I think it's very worth it to just drop my Z here. Like, I'm not mispredicting against that threat. <laughs> yeah, I can't play around with that thing. Azu comes in. I'm just going to Earthquake it down. As, I mean, they're going to be forced to take this Torn's Helmet damage now. I gotta sack two mods to this, don't I? Yeah, okay, you can have my Guard Chump too. I'll attempt Rocks here. But yeah, that's able to knock me out. So now we're in a 4-4 scenario, but Mechelio kind of just has a ton of fun here. 
I'll go out here into my Mawile this turn too. Because I anticipated this, and I should be able to take a Fake Out plus High Jump Kick, so... Let's click Player Off this turn. They go for High Jump Kick right away, which is very interesting. I thankfully hit and knock that out. Cool. Now... I have several paths to victory here. This is going to go down to Sucker Punch. Yeah. <laughs> and, um... I think my Blacephalon can just win on its own here. If this is a Rock Palace with Z, it wins. But it's special too. I don't know what exactly is happening. <laughs> But let's go Caldeo here, and I just Secret Sword because it guarantees they win with my other thing anyway. As they get in Ferrothorn. I knock that out. I have a Shikaberry Coco too, so this looks okay. Yeah, this comes back in. I just Secret Sword it. Even if it's a Rock Polish, I don't think I can lose to it. As I think this next turn right here, I should be able to just go ahead and... I think I'll just go Clown here and Flamethrower. And then their last Pokemon is going to go down right here, which is very cool. I'll be able to get some more yellow, and I'll be right back with another game. Okay, I got the next game right here. This one looks very Mawile weak, as well as Blacephalon weak. Toxpex is just such an annoying Pokemon, though. I think my best lead right here is going to be my Garchomp for Rocks Pressure initially. As Gliscor leads on my opponent's end. This is okay, I can just go ahead and SD up this turn, as they may get up their Rocks. They actually go for a Taunt, okay. So, I mean, this turn, they could go, I guess out into that thing. I'm just gonna drop the Z right here as they decide to stay in, and I'll be rocking out Gliscor right away, which is very good. Let's see what comes in next right here. I wish I had Poison Jab, but nothing really appreciates this Pokemon. Yeah, Bulu has to come out, which I think it should have come out earlier, but... Keldeo can win. I'm gonna go Torn this turn, as they just go right for a Horn Leech, which is not a big deal at all. They reveal lefties right there. I'm gonna just draw Hurricane. Based on their first play, I feel like they might stay in here too for no reason. They do go Pex, unfortunately, and I miss. I'm gonna take the time to knock this off. I don't really mind taking a regular Toxic, and I can defog any T-Spikes that want to go up. See, I'll just defog here. It'll put it in range of my... Okay, first of all, ideally they don't Scald Burn me right away, but they don't. Nice. And now my Hurricane Accuracy is a lot higher due to that Evasion Drop, so... I can just go ahead and Hurricane them down here. As I get the Confusion, which is really good. And this turn, I think what I actually want to do is U-turn out, perhaps, into my Garchomp here. T-Spikes are not the biggest issue, because I can actually defog them. And actually, I'm going to go right back to my Torn to defog them now, because they're only switching as Bulu, right? Yeah, so Bulu has to come back in. I can just defog here. They should go back to Pex, as Pex should not be the biggest issue for me to deal with. Yep, Pex comes back. Did I ever knock this off? I did, nice. And I can just actually just draw Hurricane here initially. How many T-Specs do they have? They have that many. I'm gonna defog here. This is very frustrating. I'm gonna U-turn this turn. And I think once again I'll bring out my... Do I go Mawal? I'll go Coco this time. As that comes out. Bulu would probably come back out here. Hmm. I have to defog, like, as much as I hate just doing the cycle, I have to do it. So I'm actually going to knock off first in case they stay in this time. Because I can actually defog on a lot. If they go Hoopa, I can go ahead and take that on. Pex comes back. I just defog this. Like, I want to go Mawal so badly, but I don't want it getting burnt. So they're just spamming T-Specs now. I'll just Hurricane it down to weaken it. As they got up a second T-Spec, I'm just going to defog both of them away this turn. Uh, a very annoying match. I might just uh, cut this game short, depending on how it plays out. I'm going to U-turn this turn and try to speed it up. Get in my Mawal and whatnot. Yep, T-Spike has to come back up. I just Mega Evolve here and go right for a Thunder Punch. I don't know if they would actually switch out this turn. Because like even if they stay in, I should be able to knock them out with Thunder Punch plus a Burnt Thunder Punch is what my mindset is. And I can always predict. So they go Scissor this turn, which is okay with me. I am pretty fast here. I'm actually a very fast Mawile, so this turn I can just Fire Fang them. What are you going to do? Go back to Pex? They go Hoopa. Which takes a ton of damage. I'm just going to Sucker Punch it this turn. Yeah, this team is torn apart by, by Mawile. I just Sucker Punch it there. 
And then, like, what do you bring? Yeah, they just forfeit. Like, Mobile completely tore this team apart at preview. We're able to go ahead and win, and we've had three very quick games. I'll be right back with another one. Alrighty, got the next game right here. My opponent has a pretty threatening squad right here. Magirna is always a problem against this team. Garchomp does have some fun, but I gotta be careful about Kurtana as usual. That thing is such an annoyance. <laughs> just being able to go ahead and smart strike through this squad right here. But initially, what I want to do is lead off, actually, with my... So I can't really touch the Lottie with my Caldeo, so I, I do want to lead off with it here anyway, because I want to force that thing out, as they just go ahead and lead off here with the Landorus. Just going to Surf right away in case they want to stay in for who knows what reason. They, they're they probably Scarf and probably U-turn to Lottie here, but they stay in. I bring it down to Sash, so I'm actually kind of wondering why that's a Sash set. I'm just going to Surf again because it kind of forces this thing to recover. And I mean, this turn I can get in Torn, but then I'm going to be weak to the Kurtana if I take a hit with it. I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, is that Scarf? That could be Scarf. Huh. I'm going to go Mawile. That's probably Scarf. And, I mean, here I'll just go for Player Off. As I'm surprised they're not sacking off theirs. Their landers here. I mean, Firefang should knock this out, maybe. I don't think it actually will. As they actually go back to Lottie here. Very interesting. I'm going to Sucker Punch this turn. And knock out the Lottie. Nice. So actually, Keldeo has a lot of potential here now. I'm still worried about Cortana though. <laughs> this thing comes in. This thing's a problem. I'm gonna go Keldeo on it. As they unfortunately miss a Hydro Pump. Very big miss right there. Because it allows me to freely surf this turn. Actually, do I have a reason to not... I don't have a reason to not click Secret Sword here. Because yeah, even if they suck that off, I'm not too worried about it. Magirna comes out. So I'm gonna calc Flamethrower versus Fire Blast for my Blacephalon. If it's Trick Room, that's going to be a problem. Blacephalon with a Choice Scarf. Magirna. So that does a lot. That has, what, a 81% chance to Oko while Fire Blast has an 80 They're setting up here, so I'm going for Secret Sword. It is Trick Room, okay? So I'm actually very glad I stayed in. This thing's about to blow through my team, though. Does it even have a way to knock me out? I guess it might be Flur Cannon? Do I stay in? I'm gonna stay in here this turn. It is Z Flur, okay. No, it's Gigavolt Havoc, huh? So it has like the perfect coverage for my team, unfortunately. It might mean they're not actually Scarf Cortana, though, which could be good. I just put myself in a tougher, tougher spot versus the Grand, though. So I think uh, what I wanna do here is just go out into my Coco, and. I don't know if they can actually knock me out. If they have Flash Cannon, they probably can. Gonna go into my Garchomp this turn. As they do have Flash Cannon, so I'm glad I pivoted out there. This turn, what, Flash Cannon would come out again? Ah, oh, man, Magirna is such a good mod against my team. Kind of tough. They Flash Cannon again. I gotta sack off another mod. I think Torn is that sack. Yep, Torn is that sack. Uh, how healthy is this? 65, 100, 100. I mean, I'll just attempt a defog here as they just knocked me out. Okay, so this Magirna just ripped a hole through my team. Not much I can really do about that. I think I go... I can go Coco and Thunderbolt. I think that'll make me lose to Kurtana, perhaps. But I think it's my best decision here. Just gonna Thunderbolt. If it doesn't... It should knock that out, right? Yeah. And then Kurtana comes out here. This is not gonna live. I guess maybe they're trying to weaken me for... Shuriken? I don't know what, they're, what the concept was there. Uh, gotta be careful about Shuriken. Greninja comes out here. That's not gonna do enough. And then Scarf Cortana would have to be the set here. Can that thing beat me? I think it can with Smart Strike. Okay, if they're not Scarf, I win. They are not Scarf, and I have won the game, it looks like. Even if they're timid, I should be fine. Okay, they were not Scarf. So how many Shuriken hits did they get? They got two? I mean, it would have been at the roll on the third one to knock me out. It looks like, because 14... It, did, it didn't do enough damage. To, I guess I was at 14.3. It would have been a roll, and had they not gotten the roll, it would have had to hit four times. So I think that was what decided the game right there, and we were able to go ahead and come out on top. I'm going to go ahead and get one final game, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this will be our last game right here. We are currently 6-1, which is very cool. I do want to be able to go 7-1 right here, but 6-2 would not be the end of the world. 
My opponent has another Cartano, which is just a giant problem against my team. I think in that last game, if that Hydro Pump... That was last game, right, where the Hydro Pump missed? I don't completely remember, but... Let's go ahead and lead off here with my... So I'm really anticipating maybe Landorus or Medicham. Torn is not a lead I was anticipating, so I can actually take a an attack here. So I'm just going to go right here for my rocks. I can, I'm can. i pretty sure I'll take a Fly Name Z. The other option is going Coco. Coco's not a bad play. Yeah, they do go for Fly Name Z. Okay, nice. So I don't know if that actually... I'm pretty sure my guard champ would have lived it, but it's okay. I'll go ahead and restub this turn. As they go hard, Magirna. What is this, Vest? I guess it's probably Vest. I'm going to Thunderbolt it down. As good as this thing is, I do need the damage. It's Vest, okay. And wow, I, for, okay, first of all, I did not expect that to straight up Oko me with that Flare Cannon. <laughs> Makes this a little bit tougher here. So I have two ways, of, actually I have one way of knocking this out, and it's with this thing. Really surprised that just straight up knocked my Coco out. Like, it's probably Min Special Attack. Which is why I'm rather surprised about it. Let's go right here for an Earthquake as... I mean, if rocks go up, the Cortana once again could sweep me here. My torn responses are, are a little bit gone too, but I don't see them keeping Magirna at this point is what I'm trying to get across here. I guess they could if they really want to, but they just keep it in, okay. So now, like what comes in? Greninja to Ice Beam is an option. Metacham could come in, I guess. It's going to go for what, Fake Out here? I'm just going to drop this Devastating Drake and knock it out. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that mindset was. This thing comes in. My torn is still at full health, which is very vital here. I'm going to get in Keldeo this turn, as Hydro Pump does a lot more than I thought it would. As this turn, I'll just go right here for a... I'll just go for a Secret Sword as Torn comes in. I could have predicted that, I'm not going to lie. I think I actually misplayed by not predicting that. So I'll go Mawile this turn, as Hurricane does so much. And... I mean, here I can just play rough. Landorus comes in. It is a defensive Landorus. Okay, good info. I have to defog for my... for so that I don't get swept by the cart here. As it just goes for U-turn, that's okay. Greninja is about to come back in though, this thing comes in actually, huh. So I'll get in Guard Chomp, ideally they don't hit two Hurricanes in a row, well now I have to actually break through Confusion too. They hit two in a row, unfortunately. I mean, this thing gets to come back in and claim a kill now, which is cool. Just click Play Rough here. Yeah, and I mean, if Landorus comes back in, it should go down to the combination of Player Off plus this Sucker Punch here. Should have anticipated that. Okay, knock that out. Huh, this thing comes back in. This thing's a threat. It actually just guaranteed its Battle Bond, didn't it? Yeah, I gotta keep my... I gotta keep Torn for the cart, obviously. I gotta keep... I gotta sack something here. If I sack off my Caldew, I lose to this thing on the spot. I might lose to it on the spot right here anyway, is what I'm trying to see how I can avoid. Okay, they miss right there. I mean, I'm getting very lucky. That's the second Hydro Pump miss this live. I'm just going to Secret Sword this turn as Torn comes back. Uh, this thing's a problem. Get in the clown here. They hit every Hurricane, which is like definitely catching me off here. I'll just Sucker Punch this turn and knock that out. I think once again, I still have to dodge. It's just a Thunder Punch here. They go for Shuriken. Not quite sure what the Shuriken play was all about. Are you Scarf Cortana? Uh, there's Scarf. They go for Smart Strike. I'm pretty sure my only hope is Keldeo eating this. So I'm going to try that. Yeah, I definitely hacks my opponent with a couple misses there. I don't know why they shuriken this turn. I'm pretty sure the chance of hitting a Hydro is more, but I definitely lucked them out. But, I mean, hey, it was, it was really my only game plan right there. The combination of Magirna, Gran, and Cortana just, just ripped my team apart right there. So I got lucky. I'll acknowledge it. And we're going to go ahead and end off the session. Did hope you all enjoyed. The team will be down below in the description in case you guys do want to try it out. And I'll see you all next time. Later.